Hello. Hello. We come to the 14th episode uh, today. Uh, so many very um, different uh, issue we we face every day again. You know, whatever I talk is of a daily nature. Uh, we all want to be extremely disciplined. I want to get up every day at the same time, go for walk, do everything. Uh, as a small thing as going for a walk on a particular time doesn't happen, right? You take this way many activities which we which we do on a daily basis, and we find that we are not pursuing those activities properly. We are not doing it on time. Even prayers, we want to uh, do, we want to sit down and do it in a particular time. It doesn't happen. Then we will uh, uh, tell God whenever we are able to, hello, sorry, very sorry, and quickly run off. But our indiscipline, um, the way of leading our life, it, there is a lot of pressures of the external pressures, work, family, all sorts of things are there. But I sometimes I feel that many others in the earlier years were very disciplined, which they maintained it. They did much, much better than us. And uh, they, they led a more, probably, I don't know, they led a better, happier life. Sometimes I feel like that. Uh, how important is discipline? How do we, how do we latch on? to discipline as a mantra, as something which we must do it and we keep doing it properly. Yes, this is a very important point. The only thing is, is regularity is a, an important thing in whatever we think or do. That can come only when we have this perseverance, you know. In any any establishment or any life, any individual's life, there should be some self-imposed discipline. Mm. That will only that only will ensure that others are not inconvenienced. Suppose you have promised that you would come at six thirty or seven thirty, people will be coming there to see you, and suppose you are you are irregular. That will that will hamper, that will disturb them, that will create a lot of problem from them for them. So discipline for the individual, discipline helps the individual to lead a orderly life, and at the same time, discipline helps to ensure that there is no inconvenience for anybody. Anybody else? Ah. Suppose you are opening an office, one of these, your start, working time starts at 8 o'clock. We may see it as an administrative measure. It is true, it is an administrative measure. But in between, when I am, suppose I am working in Unnati, it, this will always be in my mind. 8 o'clock, I have to report. I have to report. I have to report. I have to report. So the commitment also slowly comes up. So, and if, but at the same time, I should know it is not for the discipline's sake I am going. It, ah. is for, it is for the sake of the institution I am going. And, and the unless, responsibility. Uh, and unless there is a, a, a structure like this, how can the institution run? So, it is for the institutions that I am doing it. So that and there may be many occasions when you may have to waive, you may have to exempt, you know. Somebody is seriously sick, you are about yeah. to come, then you will immediately say, don't worry about the timing, you can come at your own time, you know. So there are exceptions also. Because the, uh, for discipline is necessary in an individual's life as well as, well as a, the life of an institution. But always we should know that uh, discipline is not something which we should resist. We find that it refines us. Oh, I have not done this, you know. Early morning when you... Yeah, suppose feel, you have, feel guilty. Uh, feel guilty. You, at, at a particular time, suppose you are getting up, you will find that even the, the your body, body cooperates with that. 
exception may be there when you are you know, totally weak or something, sick or something like that. By and large, you, uh, by and large, you will say you are up with it. And as soon as you get up, you know, you have a discipline, un, undeclared discipline, that you will take the brush, you will take the uh, no, paste, you will go to the bath, yeah? you will go to the washroom. There are, you, you will find, if, if you watch yourself, you will find that orderliness, suppose by any chance it is disturbed, you are disturbed. So the, then we learn that discipline is a must for a peaceful life. And if it is ensuring a peaceful life for me, it, similarly it should be ensure, uh, it should ensure for a peaceful life others. So I should look at the uh, uh, discipline not as a discipline imposed on me, a discipline which is necessary for me to refine myself, to make myself useful wherever I am. If I am a little uh, loose in that, uh, not only that I will not be successful, Correct. but I will be creating restlessness to in the, the people in and around me. So discipline is a must in anything and everything. And uh, perseverance, it comes out in the form of perseverance. So that uh, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do this. And discipline slowly will also make us to identify ourselves with a larger dimension. I am I'm going to the office not because of the time, but I go there because of the time also, that's all. My After some time, you know, 8 o'clock I go to the office. This is what I, we have learned. 8 o'clock we used to go. Eight, that is the timing. But if, there may be time when I have to go at 7, 7.30 or 7 o'clock also. I take the key and go. So then my identification with the company becomes so strong. This discipline takes a different meaning, not an imposed mm. one where I have any resistance. And I have, we have found that uh, the uh, result of it is that wherever we are unable to keep up, others will also be accommodating us. Because uh, through discipline, we have we have learned our commitment to the company, coming to the organization, commitment to the idea. Then you find our discipline gets a different dimension. It is not something on which you know oh, I have to, it's not like that. You love it and do it. Yeah. You love it and do it. You are going there at a particular time, but not uh, with a with a heart full of joy. And right. prior, you will prioritize. Suppose somebody comes at 7.30 oh. and talking to you, you will be, I have to go for you. Because your commitment to the company, the ideal for which you have been drawn there, you would have told somebody to come there. You would want, you would like to share something with your colleagues. All those things are there. But at the same time, the person will should also know the discipline is not to inconvenience others. I will tell you one example. During our estate life, our roll call, no, it starts at about 7.15, 7.30, sorry, 7.30. 7.30 in the morning, workers have to come. The writer in charge, the supervisor in charge has to take the roll call. An old worker who has been serving us for more than 30 years, he will be invariably late. He will not come at 6 or 7.30. He will be there by 7.40, 7.45. So the supervisor you know, has been telling, if you do that like that, I, I will have to report and all those. One day it so happened that he came at 7.40 or 7.50. Then it was reported to us. Now, we cannot say that you, you know, because that will loosen the grip he has on the workers. He will lose the interest. At the same time, we have to be humane. There must be a reason why he is late. Because he is also an elderly person. And uh, to from his quarters to the bus spot, nearly one, one and a half kilometers. So we then enacted a drama. We told the supervisor, as soon as he comes, you bring here. I cannot give work unless somebody says so. Okay. And then I will say that work will not be given. If you continue to do this, whatever may be your reason, 
because it will set a bad precedent for others. They will say, why, if you are giving that, why should I be there at 7.30? So we cannot take a lenient view. Uh, if you feel that you can come at 7.30, you come, otherwise you don't come. If you don't come, pages will not be there. But if the supervisor says that you will be, hereafter you will be strict, I will ask him to give you one. And then you will ask him, can I promise that you will come? Like that, we will we will try to do that because we know heart of heart. We told them even you and I came here, they were working, and because of their suffering, their state has come into being. So we cannot close our eyes. At the same time, for the sake of administration, we have to do this. So exactly, it happened like that. He was brought before us. We told him we are sorry. We cannot do that. He has given you many times warning. If you come, if you keep on repeating this, we are helpless. It will set a bad precedent. You are a senior worker. We know that. You may have your own limitations, but if you can't, if you if you can't ensure that you will be here by seven thirty, please don't come for work. We are really helpless. But today, I will say, if the right, if the supervisor says. That you, if you, if he guarantees that such things will not be repeated from tomorrow, then you can go for work. So when we made all these, you know, the, he's a good person. We started thinking, I will try to be be here by seven thirty. He has given work. So the discipline should be there for the sake of the overall pakka management, but at the same time we should be humane. So, Swami, this, 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 this has to be gone in mind. This is the biggest problem. You took a very important case of timing, and as um, administrative heads in organization, we face these commonly. Where, and then we have to take a heart. At least sometimes, after giving him two, three times chances, he's not coming on time. We have no other choice, even if he's a good person. To hold hands and ask him to go, you know, yeah. and we sometimes we feel guilty. Are we villains? <laughs> All that comes to we our are, mind. No, that is right. <laughs> we, we should we should compensate in different way. <laughs> Recognizing his service, his emotional, our emotional attachment, our uh, bonding with him, we may not be able to help him in one, but we can help him in something else. Right. When you when then the humaneness comes up, uh, you will devise your own method to bridge the gap, because human relationship is far 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 more important than anything else. I agree, and human relation need not be dependent on this aspect. It is it is an objective thing. The moment you become objective, you are able to remove the individuals in them and look at it differently. Yeah. And the discipline at every level for an individual. It will ensure hundred percent success. Suppose you say I will only wear khadi. You know, not that we should not impose this on anybody else. Correct. We may have some reason to stick on to khadi. So that will enable us not to see this 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 cloth, that cloth, this cloth, that cloth. If it is not khadi, I will not wear. No. So then we try to understand. I will not eat this. So some discipline, when we impose on ourselves, this is another aspect of discipline. When we impose on ourselves, we find that we stick to one. There is a oh. unknown, uh, the unknown factor to control the uh, outgoing tendencies of the mind. I, I, we will not do this. We will do this. Yeah. So I, I, I heard you, Swami, on one thing which is very important to me. You said that. The discipline should not be imposed by yourself on yourself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like uh, you know, we we say, oh, I will not eat food on Egadasi day, and you are hungry. You are, but you are imposing. You are, you feel guilty. You feel uh, miserable. So that is not the idea of discipline. The idea of discipline is has to be that this is what is good for you, and you accept it, and then you implement it. Okay. In every field, suppose we have got a discipline, 
the that means the uh, the power of the mind is concentrated it is not dissipated otherwise any object draws you draws you draws you there but suppose there is a discipline in that you will find the mind has got enough resources it becomes more productive and creative so the, in that way also discipline helps if we look at it with that point of view even if you come back from the office when you sit you will start thinking about it more and more more and more mm. uh, because your idea is to uh, bring in so many positive factors in any field that you are subjected to go through and okay. for that discipline is a very important as we keep on thinking now we find discipline ensures uh, not only individual refinement which will be expressed in the form of outer productivity outer creativity because the the mental faculties are preserved otherwise if we let loose all the senses okay. your your eyes your ears your uh, tongue your uh, smell your touching it it dissipates all the energy that is stored in you but suppose you have got a discipline in everything nobody does it you do it by yourself and then you find there is a regularity in here is the, there is a master here a music teacher so uh, one day i happened to meet him and i told him to come at, and i asked him when can you come he said about 8:30 i'll be there later on when so many people will be coming here now so we may forget about it but 8:30 we have in our mind his brother came and said you know his nature is there can't be any 8:31 So whether you are free or not, he will come at eight thirty. I started thinking, why you know? Then he started thinking about our so many uh, uh, what do you call engagements or involvement. Okay. Uh, and he should not be a disturbance to us to ensure that he is strict. He is asking when I should come. So eight thirty, eight thirty. So such a discipline when we go think deeply, the uh, it is more and more for accommodating. or ensuring least trouble for others so there are different aspects about the discipline i think we should yeah. do something more about it i i yeah i will i will preempt for the next time uh -huh. one topic which is uh, that is i uh, i will you know the subconscious and the mind the subconscious and the mind how they play uh, an important part on this in discipline yeah. we yeah, will yeah. take it up next time okay. okay thank you so much thanks a lot thank you wonderful